I've been getting messages from people wondering about how you exit a drive fast, and a lot of people obviously have not read the book. I did get a letter from someone that did read the book, and she didn't follow the instructions, and she got edema, which is the swelling of the tissue, because without electrolytes, the cell surface can't open and close without water in and out of the cells, so it builds up outside the cells. Simple problem to fix, just take potassium magnesium after the dry fast and you stop that from even happening. There's refeeding syndrome, which is where you bring smoothies and proteins and stuff. You don't want to do that right after a dry fast. That's why I suggest the coconut water and uh, the, the magnesium and potassium. And uh, maybe a little bone broth later in the day, but you really want to take it easy the first day out of a dry fast because you've been in starvation. You used up your electrolytes. You see, your cells use electrolytes to operate the cells. They operate the channels on the outside of the cell to let things in and out of the cells. And you've used those up. So really, it's really amazing because if you just take it easy, it's great. Now, the real problem is, um, is the, it does cause edema. I've had it happen to myself. I was over in Vietnam and my feet started swelling up because I was drinking tons of water and washing out my electrolytes. And I remembered, oh heck, I haven't had any salt. So we put salt in the water and the edema went right away. My partner, same problem. Before we wrote the book, um, she had edema and she took potassium and magnesium and that solved it as well. So the story here is after a dry fast is over, it's the most critical time. You could do nothing and go into a dry fast. You don't really have to prepare much at all. But uh, actually, when you exit a dry fast, it's really critical to prepare yourself so that you end up not having these post-fast problems. Anyway, it's a quick video. That's all I have today, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.